So let's say that we finished this, or we went to run the first shirt and I forgot to tape out the registration mark. So this unit becomes a pretty nice um, uh, repair station. So we got a suspended, um, even if you got to build this yourself, having a suspended gun, I can't tell you how many, maybe 100 guns we've dropped and broken over the years. Um, you can tell it's, I mean, it's not all that robust. You drop it on the front and you're replacing parts. Um, we've had this one knock on wood for probably 15 years uh, once we had it suspended. You can buy these things at the hardware stores and suspend it yourself. Um, I've seen people with the exhausters that will buy a, uh, or will build a, uh, a coffee can with a, with a shop vac. Um, Justin from Oklahoma Shirt said they drilled holes in their tables um, and put mesh over them and then put a shop vac at the end of the belt. So if you make a mistake, you can fix it right there, which is pretty slick. Um, this has got an exhauster on it, which is nice. We also have thrown lights up here. So this is a stupid little hack, but we take an ink card and put it on the bottom part. So it makes this vacuum area a little bit smaller. So my registration mark, it's gonna dry a little faster because I'm not sucking through this whole thing. It's great if you got a, uh, on the edge of something as well. But making sure, safety first, put my goggles on. And, I'll go get it kind of wet for just a second, soften that ink a little bit, because these guns will blow a hole right in the shirt if you're not careful. Then I'll come over here. And you can see why the exhauster is important. I could put people will wad up a t-shirt and put under there, and it can work, but to get this dry and get it back on the stack, the exhauster really helps do that. So then we've got a little brush back here, another little hack. We can kind of take that area and sort of brush it so we don't see the, where we maybe have, have caught the yarn and kind of tore it open a little bit.